Hey there. Welcome to Blooper Card Day. I am making cards from all the things that I was experimenting with or I tried and abandoned or whatever the reason is. I'm making thank you cards. So I might be putting some of these little cutouts on them. Never know, but just uh, people brought us yummy goodies after my mother passed, and I'm wanting them to have homemade, from the heart, cards. So, let's get going. Um, this is one I did before. <laughs> I haven't been able to send it out. It's so cute. So, here is what we're going to do. I'm going to finish this one. Uh, this was originally something on that order. Actually, it was that order. Uh, let's just finish it out. Okay, I have moved outside to voice over the rest of the video. And if you hear lovely birds, that is why I am outside. So, I am going to voice over the rest of the video because when you speed it up, you sound like a chipmunk and nobody can understand it anyway. So... Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm using the ink straight. This was one of the little uh, pictures we did um, because of the coronavirus, not getting alcohol, doing pictures without alcohol. So this is using the ink straight and with an airbrush. That is listed down in the description below. And I'm just putting the leaves on it because I didn't really like how the flower panned out. It wasn't what I had in mind when I was doing the video for the flower. So, um, I abandoned it, put it in a stack. I'll tend to it later, and now I'm tending to it later. So, I'm putting leaves on it uh, so they can be part of the card. And I'm just getting them in there. I'm not real particular about them. I just want the color in there because the card is going to close in on this picture, and you just need the color there. You don't necessarily need it being perfect. So, here we go. This is the viewfinder, I call it, that I cut out for the number 10 envelope cards. I kind of move it around, see what I like it, get my spot, and then I mark two opposite corners. There's no need to mark all four. Um, just do the two opposite ones. What you're gonna do is cut inside of those marks and they won't be in your card at all. There's that. That's going to be cute. And what I'm doing here is I'm holding my card up against the paper that I'm going to make my border out of and trying to get my size. And then it dawned on me, make a pattern for everything. Just go ahead and make a pattern so you won't have to do this every time you make a card. It won't take you so long. So this is where I'm just measuring it with my picture. And there's my card that I've pre-cut and folded. Now, here's my pattern sizes. This is what I went ahead and did so that I just use this one pattern to whatever I'm making, whether it's the card, the border, or the picture itself. The picture one does match my uh, viewfinder thing. Yes, so this is much easier. <laughs> do not know why I hadn't thought of it before. Also, do yourself a favor. Go ahead and cut a lot of these out. I've cut a number of them out with the photo paper in case I need that look for the border. Or um, I've cut out some in the cardstock that I use. If it, the border doesn't really matter and it, you, you color it up and it's pretty solid and looks good, then I use that paper instead. So cut up a few of these. Have this stuff ready so that you can make your cards faster. Now here I've taken a magic marker that matches my red. And because so very little of the border is actually showing, 
I don't mind that there's a marker stripe in it but if my picture was smaller I would use photo paper so that it would have a swirl or a different look to it because the alcohol markers are going to react to the photo paper differently than cardstock. Okay, this is a picture that has hit the trash a number of times. It's come back out, come back in. It's been about a week and I finally decided I liked it. So don't throw your stuff away. <laughs> Give it time <laughs> to work on you. So this one, I'm lucky enough that I'm going to get two cards out of it. And I will be doing a picture like this. I like it. It's just, it's really dark for a big picture, but for cards, it's excellent. Now here, just take your picture pattern, put it over the spot you want. You can either mark it or hold it. And what I do here is I just line it up with my pattern. I move my pattern up out of the way and cut my paper. Or you can just mark it on the outside, cut on the inside of the lines and you're fine. I am not going to use a border for this one. This is busy enough. I don't think a border would help it or hurt it, but I'm just not going to use it. And I'm going to put it straight on to the cardstock. Okay, here's a picture I totally abandoned. Um, I don't know why, but I did. And I'm just needing to finish the inside. So I wanted a little lighter. Don't want anything really dark. Um, there's a lot going on, a lot of color. So I'm going to let the color speak for itself and just do a small, lighter center for the flower. So once I've decided where I want to um, draw the lines for this card, I go ahead and mark them. And then I'm going to cut them out, staying just inside the lines that I just did. And I'm not going to put a border on this one either. Um, it's really busy, a lot of color, so I'm just going to let it ride like it is. This is something I do on all my cards. I have this stamp that says homemade especially for you. And I stamp all my cards with that because I want them to know that I've met, taken time to make this card. I want them to know they're special and that I appreciate them.
And these are the cards we made today. Now the next card is showing I've put the sediment thank you on the front of the card. Usually I don't do that, but I decided to on these. So I hope this gave you some great ideas and y'all go have some fun.